CNBC All America Survey. Steve. Kelly, thank you. Yeah, higher rates are beginning to impact the consumer, and it's changing everything from how consumers spend on cars to whether or how much home they buy. Take a look at five areas that we looked at. 31% say they're more likely to pay off credit cards because of higher rates. 47% say they are less likely to get a new credit card. 54% less likely to buy a home. And you can see your majorities less likely to buy a car, less likely to take out a home line of credit. And you can see over here, if you don't mind my friend coming over this way, look at that. 43% of the poor working class have an issue with, or less likely to do four or more of these things compared to just 20% of the upper and mid, uh, upper class and, and mid and well to do showing us that the poor are being more affected by these higher rates than the wealthier. Let's look and drill down specifically into mortgages. You can see here 27% delayed buying a home because of high rates, 25% decided to rent, 15% delayed selling a home, 11% bought a less expensive home. And look at this one, 9% say because of higher rates, they turned down a job requiring them to move. So that's a big issue. 43% Kelly have been impacted by at least one of these. And again, if you look at the demographics and the breakdown, again, the younger are going to be more affected by, the, by, by this than the older people are, 18 to 34. I don't know if we have that next slide, but I could read you the data. Maybe we're having a little bit of a problem here. There, oh, thank you very much, folks in the back there. 56% of the working class are affected by this, but 27% of the upper class. Younger folks, much more than older folks, and urban more than rural. So it is beginning to hit home. And then we'll wonder, Kelly, when and if and how this shows up in the macro data. Steve, it's such a, a big deal that you almost wonder, I mean, I don't want to sound crazy here, but should the Fed start cutting rates just to unlock, uh, you know, mobility in the housing market and therefore in the broader economy? Ha, that's a great question. Whether or not that mobility right now is one of the problems they have with higher wages, right? It limits your worker pool. We do have the work at home thing. We have a little bit more mobility when it comes to the technology, but it is a great question as to whether and how, and how gummed up it is. The thing that you said at the beginning in the introduction to this report, Kelly, about the fact that homes are not on the market is a very big deal because let's say you wanted to move, your choices for moving are limited. I don't know about cutting rates, but there's certainly an opportunity for the Fed to not hike anymore. I don't think it'll avail itself next week uh, to start to think about and solve these problems. It is very interesting when we see this data showing how much more poor people are affected by this than the wealthier. No, and now that it's really showing up in a, in a macro way, I'm glad you're documenting it. Steve, thanks very much.